Hello everyone. In this video, I will show you how to fix the following error. The file has been downloaded incorrectly. So this error may occur when you try to install MinGWW64. And it means that you cannot download the required binaries. So in this video, I will show you how to fix this error and how to install MinGWW64 using the archive. So let's click on OK. Then let's go to the browser. And here we have to type MinGWW64. Let's press enter. Then let's scroll down. And here we need to click on this link. It is on sourceforge.net. So in this page, we should not click on this download button because it will download the source code. But we have to click on files. Now let's scroll down. And here we have the different versions of MinGW. So for the moment, this is the latest version. And we have different options. So these four options are for 64-bit systems. And these are for 32-bit systems. In my case, I have a 64-bit system. So I will click on this link. Now we need to save this file, but in my case I have already downloaded it, so I will click on cancel. So this is the downloaded file, I need just to extract it. And I will extract it on the C drive, so I will remove all of this from the path. Now let's click on OK. Now we need to add MinGW to the system environment variables. So let's go to the folder where we extracted MinGW. It is on the C drive into the folder called MinGW64. Then let's open the bin folder and let's copy this path. Now let's go to the system environment variables. Then let's click on advanced system settings, then environment variables. Then let's find the path variable. So this is the path variable. We need to edit it. So at the beginning of this field, I will paste the path to provide it with the highest priority. Also, I need to add a semicolon as the separator between the different values. Now let's click on OK. Then OK. OK again. And let's close this window. Now to check that MinGWW64 is installed correctly, I already created this folder, which contains this C++ file. So to build this C++ file, we need to execute this command. So let's open the command prompt from this folder. So here I have to type cmd. Then here I will paste the command that allows me to build this C++ file. Let's press enter. So this file has been created and to run it, we can just write main. Let's press enter. And here we have the output of the C++ file. 